Hi guys. Urban Viking Ale Review. Okay, it's uh, December, what was it, the 14th, 15th, something like that. Um, really, really cold. It's that sort of time of year when you want to drink something really warm and nice. Um, and luckily, I got, I received two beers in the post from Terry K, aka Beer Goggles Reviews, and um, it's a beer that I saw him review, and he just went mental over. It was, I think, it's one of his longest reviews. I think it goes on for about 29 minutes or something like that. But yeah, it was. It, ever since I saw him review it, I just wanted to try this beer, and I forgot all about it. I forgot all about him sending it and stuff like that. And um, I woke up one morning, went downstairs, and there was a package. Oh, what was this from? And I opened it up, and it was two bottles of this. So. It's the uh, Imperial Extra Double Stout from Albert Lecoq, and it comes in at 9%. And, um, and I bloody can't wait to try it, because he's told me I'm going to go mental over it, so... And he knows what I like, so... Right, so let's give you a bit of info on it. It says, Imperial Extra Double Stout. It's won bloody loads of awards. Uh, Brewing Industry International Award, 2002 Gold Award, Bronze Award at... The Brewing Industry International Award 2004, um, the International Beer and Cider Competition 2001, uh, Silver Medal, and the Gold at the 2002 Independent Beer and Cider Competition. Brewed and bottled by Harvey and Son. Um, there's lots of stuff on it. It says it's a Imperial Russian Stout from Albert Lakoch. Is that Lakoch or Lakoch? I don't know. But I'm really, really excited to try it, so I'm going to get it cracking. And where did I put my bottle opener? There it is. Okay, got to be using my um, Grand Cru posh glass, my rod and bat. <laughs> I can't wait. Look at that. Bloody hell, that is pouring like syrup. Wow. Let's see if I can get it all in there. It's a 275, so I shouldn't have a problem. There you go. A 275? Yes. Look at the head on that. Wow. <laughs> that is like um like a mousse, like a caramel mousse or something like that. Look, the head it's jet black. There's no point in holding it up to a light or doing what Terry does with a paper, because that is pitch black. There's nothing coming through that. Let's give it a nose. I've had it at a cellar temperature as well. Oh bloody hell. I've had it at a cellar temperature. Not it's not touched the fridge. Oh flipping hell. Oh wow, that just It just smells of Christmas. That's all I can describe it as. It's insane how beers can smell like this. Um Oh god, there's so much in this. Oh, I'm getting um, like raisins, coffee, chocolate, um, rum, I'm getting a little bit of whiskey, uh, almonds, marzipan. Oh, there's like a Brazil nut, um, even cashew, like a sweet nut and almost like a dried walnut as well. And uh, throughout all these sort of lovely sort of festive uh, flavours, you're getting almost like a, a mulled wine or like a red wine sort of smell. Um, sort of almost like a, a, a vein of red wine sort of going throughout all these flavours, all these smells, sorry. I mean, I tasted it, yeah. Oh, I'm always getting a hot cross bun, um, like a crumpet, a hot crumpet with butter on. <laughs> That is a beauty. That really smells beautiful. That's probably one of the best smelling beers I've ever smelled. Yeah, I can definitely say that, yeah. Oh, I can sit here and just smell it, sorry. I can see why Terry's review went on for so long. I really can. Right. <laughs> if it tastes half as good as it smells, this is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Right, Terry, big old reviews. Cheers, mate. Let's go. Cheers, guys.
Bloody hell. That is so fucking not. Sorry. That is so bad. Oh, bloody fucking. It's all swear words, isn't they? That is so nice. Oh, God, that flavour at the end. It's shit. Don't buy it. One out of ten. <laughs> I'm only joking. I can't even joke about this beer. It's that nice. Oh, God. Let me just have another sip. Sorry. You're getting everything, all those flavours I mentioned, alongside a big warming alcohol. Um, oh God, that bitterness, the roasting bitterness at the end is beautiful. You, the first thing you're getting as soon as it hits your tongue is like, um, something. It, 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 oh God, what is it? It's like an alcoholic infused plum or something like that, which sits on the tongue. <clears throat> And then it's a nice thick flavour as well. And and then all these other flavours just start crashing in on top of it. So you're getting um, the, the, nut, the nutty sort of flavours. You're getting the roasted uh, coffee. Excuse me. Which is a really, really nice coffee. You know, a really posh, expensive coffee. You're getting a lovely dark chocolate as well. Like a 90% or something like that. Um, and... It's all, they're all crashing around, you're getting, you're getting the, the figs, you're getting raisins, you're getting sultanas. They're all sort of walloping around on your tongue. And, and like I said, throughout of it, you're getting this red wine, which is beautiful. It's so nice. Um, I'm not a massive wine drinker, but I know a good red wine when I, when I drink one. And, um, and it's so prominent in this. You're getting it sort of infused throughout all these lovely, rich, stout flavours. And then right at the end, you're getting this gorgeous, gorgeous coffee bitterness. Um, which just hangs around like a, like a, hangs around like someone who hangs around a lot, I suppose. <laughs> it is really, really good. It just stays and stays and stays. And, and I can see why Terry went mental over it. It is a beauty. It really, really is. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to sit down in a room with the light off and <laughs> drink it. You know, it's, it's such a personal beer. It really, really is. All I can say to you guys out there on YouTube watching this, fucking hell, if you can see it, get it. Seriously, that is a beauty. It's in my top five stouts, easily in my top five. Um, 10 out of 10, what about that? Terry, thank you so much. He sent me another bottle as well. I'm going to age that one. I'm going to give that a good year or two. Um, but as it is, oh, bloody hell. It's a beauty. It really, really is. Guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for running on a bit. Terry, thank you for sending. And, um, and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers. I'm overwhelmed.